Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel DigiCourse. My name is Krishna Prita. In this video, I want to show you how to create a performance max campaign in Google Ads from scratch to advanced in 2022. In this video, you will learn everything about performance max campaign and its difference and advantages compared to other network types present in the Google Ads. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you can get notified when I release the more videos. Let's get started now. Google Ads Performance Max Campaign. So till now, whatever the campaign networks that we have discussed, like search, display, video, And we have also seen how to create a shopping ads. These are individual campaign networks that we have seen. So we have seen how to create search, display video and what are the bidding strategies to choose and where our ad appears and how we can enter like based on what Google will detect them on. So all these things we have seen while performing these campaign networks. So apart from that, we also have recently uh, Google have added one of the campaign network that is performance max campaign tip. along with the search display video app and all we also have the latest campaign type that is performance max campaign. What is the difference between this performance max and all other campaign networks? see this the only difference i can tell you between this performance max and all other networks is just automation guys automation and one more thing is so now if you want to display your text ads tell me which option you would choose you would choose search if you want to display your ads on banner ads on uh, the websites apps and all you would choose display network if you want to display your video ads on YouTube and all, you choose the video network. Likewise, according to your goal, you would choose the objectives, the campaign objectives. So whereas with the performance max campaign, as I said, it is completely automated. Your ad will serve across all Google Ads channels. So it is not, uh, you know, where you will work as an individual platform. If you choose this performance max campaign, automatically your ad will appear in SCRP, your ad will appear in websites, app, YouTube and some discoverable channels. Okay, so it's completely automated. You just have to provide some assets like you just have to provide some text content and you know image content. Automatically Google will take those assets and it will create a responsive ad for SCRP. Automatically your ad will be showing up in a CRP, showing up in websites, apps and YouTube etc. So whereas you don't have to create a search ads for only text ads, display ads for displaying uh, dis um, image ads on websites, apps and all. If you could just choose this performance max campaign, automatically Google will show your text ads on search, your banner ads on websites app, your video ads on YouTube etc. So it's completely automated. Okay, automatically Google will generate ads according to the information you provide. Okay, so this is the only difference guys. There is no much difference and you don't have to waste your time creating all this search display and all, not required. So if you could just choose performance, automatically it will show. I will show you one image so that you will understand easily. Can you see this picture? So automatically when you choose this performance max, your ad will appear in YouTube. Your ad will also appear in some uh, in the form of banner ads. Your ad will appear in some display network websites and it appears on SCRP and it appears on some other websites. It also appears in Gmail. It also appears in Google Maps also. Have you ever noticed advertisements of Google Maps? advertisements when you open any google maps you might have noticed some advertisements like this so in these google ads channels your ad will appear by default when you choose the performance max campaign 
So now we'll see how to create this performance max campaign and how we can show up or add in all these various channels. So now let's get started. Okay, so now as usual, how you create a campaign for other networks the same way, click this plus icon. and choose you can choose sales or leads or website traffic so i would like to go with this create campaign without a google's guidance now can you see this performance max you have to choose the campaign type performance max so guys if you can see here you have to choose conversions actions so that you can track how many people have converted in your website through performance max campaign so i think uh, we have already discussed about how to create a conversion action simply you can track your goals how many people purchased how many people filled your contact form or how many people clicked on button so you can track so i'll go with this submit lead form which i have created conversion action so i'll just remove the other one so let me use this and here you can also connect your google merchant center if you want to choose the shopping ads as of now no so continue and then give a name for your campaign continue so now it's time to create a uh, give your budget as usual how much amount you would like to spend each day so let's say i would like to spend thousand rupees in a day and here comes the bidding type guys so the bidding types that you have known till now was tell me what are the bidding strategies that you know was cpc cpc cpm cpv so all these bidding strategies that you have used to till now for other campaign types so now here we have a CP uh, cost per conversion. Okay. So what do you mean by conversion? Conversion means it's a profitable action, right? We have discussed. So when mm -hmm. someone fill the form or when someone purchase the product, whatever, it depends on your the on your goal that you choose. So now here the bidding strategy I can choose is the conversion. So I'm telling to Google that hey, I would like to pay so and so amount when someone convert in my website only so when google will take amount from you when google can deduct amount from your account when someone convert in your site or when you get one conversion got it so that is what here you can pay i'm gonna choose conversion set target cost per action how much you would like to pay for every conversion so maximum how much you can pay so i'll go with 100 so maximum conversion my the amount that i would like to pay when someone convert in my site is a 100 rupees okay so can you see how much cost it is taking for three conversions hmm. 300 rupees so click on next this is the estimations only and choose the country i would like to serve across india then choose the locations and add schedule you know this option very well and starting days and end dates when you want to start running your ads and when you want to stop running your ads and final url expansion this is something that you need to understand properly so now let's see here my website is having some various pages yes or no i have home page i have exam page and contact us blog etc so i have few pages so when i use this option what happens google will automatically send the audience for the relevant page so there is no mandatory that google has to send the traffic to my home page only so according to the user's behavior google will send the users for the exact relevant page let's say 
if they are searching for SEO training. So we will send the users to my SEO training page. Okay, so if they are searching for digital marketing course, Google will send their visitors to my home page. So like that, automatically Google will review your entire website and find out how many pages you have and what type of content you have. So according to the user's query, Google will send the visitors to your relevant page. So it works according to the machine learning. Now Google use the machine learning a process and Google is sending the visitors to your website which are relevant only so that is what send traffic to the most relevant URLs on your site so if you want you can also exclude few URLs that you don't want Google to send your visitors to let's say at any cost you don't want users to visit some of your pages which you feel like more confidential so that URLs you can exclude here so that Google won't be able to make users to visit that page. Got it? Clear? So do we have such option in search or display or any other campaign networks that we have discussed till now? No. So here in the performance max, no. that is why auto, I told you know automation automatically. So Google use the machine learning and it will send. And yes, the next. Now it's time to create an asset group. Asset group is nothing but it's a ad group only. Okay. So now I'll just choose this um, performance max. Now you have to give your final URL. Let me give final URL. Is equal to okay give your images so it looks as uh, as same as display network only can you see now where your ad appears it appears on youtube gmail search and display network websites so let me choose few of the images as you know already you can also upload the images or you can also choose directly from the library so i'll i'll go it and choose so don't forget to crop it will not take if you don't crop them properly google automatically take the images in the response view can you see I have 8 plus images uploaded you can upload maximum 20 images and you can also upload logos up to 5 logos you can add of different uh, uh, dimensions of logos you can add so I just add this and you can also add the videos guys add up to five videos if you don't have one google will create videos automatically so i'll upload the videos better you upload the videos instead of giving giving it for google just do it on your own now can you see i will write down some headlines
write some descriptions to long headline. add up to five long headlines and descriptions too. Then just give business name. So let us review the ad once. Yes. On YouTube, how how will my ad appear? Can you see? Yeah. And and on yes. Gmail. Can you see? Have you ever noticed such type of ads on your Gmail promotions and social? When you open Gmail, you can see. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. And on search. See now? Do I have to create a separate search network ads for showing ads like this? Is it required? No. no. Let's see. No. No display. Notice such type of ads. So this is mm -hmm. like how your ad appears on mobile phones and only on YouTube, Gmail, search, display and other websites, right? And finally, let, let's see what is this audience signal. Use an audience signal to reach right audience faster. Start by creating our audience. You know what is mean by audience? Audience means remarketing. You can create for whom you want to show up your ad. Here you can choose for whom exactly you would like to show up your ad? Do you want to show up your ad for a people who visited your website already or who used your app already or who used your YouTube videos, who watched your YouTube videos already? Whom you want to retarget? Like simply, we have created remarketing, right? So that we call it as a signal, audience signal here. So you can create a new audience signal, give a audience name. So I'm gonna create the performance signal and custom segments like you can target a people based on their interest see you now let me create a new segment then you can you will remember notice this option did you remember this option custom segment where we can yeah. target a people yes. who have yes. made some actions or yes. else who have some purchase hmm. intentions so you can create so let me just give name for this now see people with any of this interest so i can include people with any of these interest or purchase intentions now let's say um, digital marketing so when i use this keyword that means Google will show my ad for a people who shows interest in these keyword or who shows interest in these uh, types of services. Digital marketing and social media courses, digital marketing degree courses, digital marketing training program, digital marketing certification course. So likewise, I so there is a more possibility of reaching out right audience. Yes or no? Instead of reaching out wider audience randomly, yes. you could just concentrate like this. And you can also choose people who searched for any of these terms on Google. So digital marketing online training. So I want to reach out to people just for such type of keywords. Right? Uh, so it's completely uh, up to you whom you want to exactly target. And we have also seen people who browse types of website. You can also expand your targeting by choosing 
let's say I want to target a people who visits the ndtv.com website only. I want to reach out to people who browse such type of websites. Then you can target a people exactly according to the websites they visit as well. And you can also reach out to people who use some type of apps. Let's say you want to reach out to people who use Mintra app or who use education app, who use e-learning apps. So you can reach out. And here see it is showing you the segments estimations uh, how many impressions are possible in week and which gender you may reach out more and what would be the age estimations it is giving you okay so I'll go with this and then save this is what custom audience custom audience means simply you are going to choose or target a people who have shown some interest of purchasing a product or services like your products and then your data people who have previously interacted with your business so you can choose the people who have already visited your website earlier and made some actions if you click on it and browse you can see if you have already created remarketing audience then you might have created remarketing audience for your website and YouTube users. Did you remember this process? How we are getting this website visitors and YouTube visitors? Because re remarketing. We are created in the re yes. uh, remarketing. Now what I can do is I can choose. So I'll just choose this. Right. So likewise you can choose. And here comes again still you can target people based on their interests, demographics and all. So people who have who already shown some interest in type of your products so in market audience. So people uh, who have shown interest on online classes and digital marketing, online marketing. So based on the website, it is giving us few suggestions you can use if you want or else you can browse see in market segments people who have interest on education employment and all likewise you can target and here comes demographics you can also target a people based on their gender female or male age group so i'll choose some age group like 45 that's fine and finally save this this is what audience signal so you must choose a proper audience signal so this is my audience signal whenever you want to create another audience signal just click this switch audience signal so now this is my whole perform audience signal for this performance max campaign and next that's it so you have to review your entire campaign what is the campaign type what is your conversion what is your ad group asset group means ad group and finally publish campaign how you run a performance max campaign is it clear guys yes did you understand the yes. difference between performance max and other campaign networks uh yes yes hope you find this video helpful if you like this video please subscribe and share it with your friends and hit the like button thank you so much for watching take care bye, -bye.